Hello everybody, I am back with another very special video. Today we are doing an updated 2011 room tour. Coincidentally, my room tour for my game room is actually my bedroom as well. So let's go ahead and take a stroll around. As I move room. out of the way here, you can see my painting of Batman. I had to do that for an art class. I suck at painting, but uh, I like Batman, so I figured I'd hang it up anyways. Alright, so here we are in my closet with my shrine of kind of odds and ends here. Right here we have some Sega CD games. We have a few boxed NES games as well as Super Nintendo games. We've got Ken Griffey, Major League Baseball, Super Star Wars, which is an in just incredibly, incredibly brutal game. I haven't even passed the first level, to be honest with you guys. Final Fight, Bulls vs. Blazers, NBA Jam. We have Twilight Princess on the GameCube. Altered Beast, courtesy of Old School Brian, a really cool YouTuber. Then this thing is kind of cool. Right here we have the Marvel vs. Capcom art book that came with a special edition. We have a few Game Boy Advance games. We have Kingdom Hearts, Chain of Memories, NES Classic Excite Bike, Drill Dozer, Super Mario Advance 1, and Final Fantasy Tactics. As we move along here, we have Nino Kuni, of course. You guys saw an unboxing as well as my first playthrough video of that. An excellent RPG developed by Level 5 and Studio Ghibli. Over here we have a Wheel of Fortune handheld device. I love Wheel of Fortune, it's one of my favorite TV Here we shows. have the Lord of the Rings Conquest bonus item that came with the Xbox 360 game when I pre-ordered it from GameStop. Not one of my favorite Lord of the Rings games, but uh, I still enjoyed it. It's kind of a Star Wars Battlefront clone. But this is a Witch King um, sword replica. Very tiny, um, very light, but cool to have. We have the Okami Den stylus and cleaner for the DS. A sealed anniversary special Nintendo Power. I kept this sealed because, one, it was an anniversary special, and it also had Mario with the raccoon hat um, from Mario Brothers 3, one of my favorite NES games. So I decided to keep that sealed. Moving along my shrine here, we have the one and only Craig TV and Lust business card. Really cool. He sent that to me. Packaged with an official TV and Lust sticker. Yes, this guy is no joke, guys. He is legitimate with his own merchandise. Very, very slick there. I'm very proud to be an owner of a TV and Lust business card as well as a sticker. Then we have the DS Game & Watch Collection from Club Nintendo. I did an unboxing for this quite some time ago. But uh, kind of exciting stuff. Never going to open this up. It's just a nice little collector's item to have. Moving along my shrine here, we have some other really cool things here. We have gold Pokemon boxed, as well as Pokemon Silver boxed, Soul Silver boxed, courtesy of my one of my closest and dear friends here on YouTube, Stormcloud Reigns. She is just a wonderful, wonderful person. Pokemon Pinball. And then we have that Kingdom Hearts drawing that, um, a friend from work drew for me, which is just really, really nice. Very well done with Sora, Donald, and Goofy. And then we have the, back there, we have the display box for Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. I got that from GameStop. Um, they actually kept it for me when I came back. They still had it for me. Usually GameStop's like, oh, sorry, we threw it away. But, um, they still had it, which was kind of nice. And then here we have a letter from one of my other cool friends here on YouTube, Coaster Crazy 10. He also drew a picture of Sora for me, which is really nice. We have Death Smiles Limited Edition Box, an excellent sh shmup for the Xbox 360. You guys should definitely check this one out. I really, really enjoyed it. Really cool characters, and uh, like I said, it's just a bullet hell shooter with um, some really unique characters. These four little angels that you can be, they're really cool. Also over here, I forgot to show you guys, we have my gaming magazines. We have Game Informer in here, Nintendo Power, and uh, a few other odds and ends, like Game Pro and stuff. And then we also have Ease, Oath and Felgana, the limited edition, premium edition. I actually completed that a few weeks ago. It was an excellent, excellent action RPG. E7, I'm working my way through that right now. Also really enjoyable. The music is just phenomenal in those games. I definitely 
really enjoy the music in those games. I actually dubbed them on my iPod. Now, as we look up here, we have all of my console boxes, as well as some other odds and ends, like my iPod Classic. We have two of those because someone stole one of mine um, out of my locker at school, so I had to buy another one, but I still had the box. We have my PSP, the Wii, and then up there, if you can see, we have the iPod Nanos. Those were first-gen iPod Nanos. I still have the boxes for those as well. My DSi, we have a hanger that's trying to kill me here. We have the DSi XL Midnight Blue Box. Of course, that's one of my, it is my most watched video, my unboxing for that. So you guys, I'm sure most of you guys have seen that. Moving right along, we have my Xbox 360 Pro Box. Excellent current gen system, obviously. Retro Duo. A really cool system if you don't have, if you guys are kind of spatially challenged. Um, you know, this plays both SNES and SNES cards, so it's kind of a nice thing to have. Um, the sound quality isn't up to par if you um, have the original consoles, but, you know, it's a nice substitute if you don't have the room for the NES and SNES. And running out of room here, we have the NES Advantage, courtesy of Cody Don Don Raiden sent this to me. It is a, basically, controller that you can use... Obviously, it's humongous. It's in this giant box, but uh, it definitely comes in handy. It gives you that kind of classic arcade feel. I really enjoy using it when I play some of my NES games. Back there, we have the Game Boy Micro. I have just recently got this. Um, you guys will see that in my pickups video, but this is an excellent little handheld device by Nintendo that I believe was announced at E3 when they announced the Nintendo DS at the very end. Reggie pulled it out of his pocket and started you know, showing everyone about it. But it's an excellent little handheld device. Looks just incredible. The picture comes in so well. And um, I'm really enjoying playing some Game Boy Advance games on it. Very portable. Take it to work with me and stuff. Then we have the Alan Wake Limited Edition. One of my favorite games of 2010 for sure. Very story driven. Really cool characters. Hoping for a sequel in the near future. Over here we have my Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos Collector's Edition. Now, I'm not much of a PC gamer, but I went to a garage sale a few weeks ago and I found this for $10. I was able to get it down to $8. And I'm really enjoying it. It's a really excellent RTS for those of you that are fans of the real-time strategy genre such as StarCraft, StarCraft 2, um, things of that realm. It's very, very interesting. Um, you know, it has a Lord of the Rings feel to it, so I really enjoy that. Under that, we have my MacBook Pro box. Loving that computer. And then down here, we just have some kind of smaller things, like we have a Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver strategy guide sent to me also by Stormcloud Reigns. We have the S Zelda Spirit Tracks limited edition guide, as well as a God of War guide and some Calvin and Hobbes comics. We have a DS case. And my original Game Boy Color case with Lugia and Ho Ho on that, which is really awesome as well. I remember getting this for my birthday back in the day. Alright, so in this first drawer here, you can kind of have an overhead view of all of my DS games here. They are, for the most part, in alphabetical order. At least I try to. Hopefully you guys can get a good look at that. And behind that we just have some NES controllers, a light gun, and some retro duo controllers as well. Good stuff. Now we're kind of on my dresser here. You can see here we have some other DS games. This is kind of my current playing and hope to play pile. Um, I just recently got this game here, Gunpei DS, Final Fantasy 3, Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow, which I've actually already completed. I completed that about two days ago. Fantastic. I don't hold, hold it as high in regard as Portrait of Ruin, but still an excellent Castlevania 2D game. Dragon Quest IX Sentinels of the Starry Skies, another excellent RPG. Animal Crossing Wild World Jump Ultimate Stars, which is a, a Super Smash Bros. clone. Very, very fun. You guys should definitely consider importing that. It is very import-friendly, too. Lots of guides online to kind of help you along and get through some of the guides and menus. 
And then, of course, Nino Kuni, Shikoku no Midoshi. You guys know about that. I've done and talked plenty about that. And then below that, we have some PC games. Like I said, I'm not a huge PC gamer. But every now and then, I like to pop in a few PC games like The Sims, maybe some Battlefield 1942, and one of my personal favorites, Lord of the Rings, Battle for Middle-Earth 2. Moving right along here, you can see we have some of my PSP games. E7, Oath and Felgana, Crisis Core, Birth by Sleep, Loco Roco 2, Twist of Metal, you guys can read. You guys can see all those there. Some UMD movies. Nothing spectacular. I definitely need to kind of um, expand my, D my PSP library a bit. But um, for what I have, I think, you know, I have a decent library of games. PSP is definitely an underrated system in my opinion. Not too many people show too much love, but if you're an RPG fan, you definitely can find some great games um, for the PSP. We also have some of my handhelds here. We have my PSP, my special gold edition Game Boy Light. Um, this was a Japan-only release console. I did a review of that back in the day, if you want to look at that. My DSi XL Midnight Blue. And my most recent pickup, the Game Boy Micro with Final Fantasy Tactics Advance in the back of that. That is a really, really fun game. I'm really enjoying that. Put about two hours into it so far. We also have some Game Boy games right here. We have Mega Man, Pocket Bomber Man, Japanese Tetris, Conker's Pocket Tales. Mario Land 2, the six golden coins, and the classic Donkey Kong from 1994, recently released on the 3DS um, virtual console. If you guys have a Game Boy or a 3DS and you've never played this game, never experienced it, I definitely recommend trying it out. It is just an excellent, right Here we excellent have some game. of my last-gen console games, such as the PlayStation 2 and the original Xbox. So I'll go ahead and just do an overhead view of some of those. And then back there you can see my original Xbox games. Of course we have the two Halos. We have all of the Lord of the Rings games with the exception of the Third Age. Um, I played through the Third Age twice actually, but... Um, I sold it both times I beat it for some stupid reason, so I need to get it back um, in my collection. We also have some other odds and ends, some of my favorites, even though they're extremely popular, like The Godfather, Lego Star Wars, Simpsons Hit and Run, Simpsons Road Rage. Some of my favorites that, you know, weren't blockbuster hits by any means, but still really enjoyable games. You know, I think that's what collecting is all about, guys. It's not about just owning a bunch of rare games that, you know, you see other people collect. Um, I definitely think it's about collecting what you enjoy, and that's definitely what I do. I don't try and go out there and collect things that are just, you know, for the rarity purposes. I definitely just enjoy what I enjoy playing, and that's all there is to it, and that's why I continue to do what I do. It's an excellent hobby, um, a lot of fun, but collect what you like. Don't just collect for the purpose of collecting. In this drawer here, we have all of my retro games, or at least the majority of them, my Super Nintendo and Nintendo games. Um, we have some really good ones in there, as well as just some, you know, really generic games, nothing, you know, spectacular. I don't have any of the Dragon Warriors. I don't have Earthbound or anything special like that, but I definitely have, like, Lion King, Star Fox, Link to the Past, Toy Story, The Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse, you know, some really good platformers for the Super Nintendo that I enjoy. Um, like I said, I collect games that I enjoy playing, and those are the types of games I enjoy, so that's what I and buy. And then for Nintendo, of course, we have two copies of Super Mario Bros. 3, Mario Bros. 2, Mario Bros. We have, you know, the inf infamous Friday the 13th, one of the worst games on the NES, to be honest. Golf, Ninja Gaiden, Pinball, Pinbot, Castlevania 1 and 2, and uh, 1942 is an excellent shmup for the NES. Ice hockey is a lot of fun, and Ninja Turtles is great, but it's so freaking brutal that I, you know, couldn't even imagine beating that game. But, um, you know, the NES is kind of known for their extremely difficult and brutal games, but they're also a lot of fun, so I enjoy playing games on that system. Down here we have some of my retro consoles. We have my Nintendo Entertainment System, 
My Atari 2600 Junior, which I finally got working the other day and played games for the first time on it, which was a lot of fun. Miss Pac-Man was what I spent the most time with. It's probably my favorite game on the 2600 at this point. But I haven't popped in all the ones that I have. You know, I've yet to pop in E.T., so that might hop up on, you know, the top of my list. But we'll see. And then we have Donkey Kong right there. I heard it's not such a great port um, on the 2600, but we'll see what I think about it. And then sliding along here, we have my games that I'm currently playing for my Xbox 360. Um, I completed Limbo. I'm starting Explosion Man now. Lego Batman, I was working my way through the villain campaign. I actually beat that, so that's not really a game that I'm currently playing anymore. But um, I still have it kind of laying out. And then behind that, we have A Link to the Past. I played that and beat that during the beginning of the summer. It was part of my summer backlog, so I'm excited that I went, played through it. Excellent music. Really, really colorful. I just really enjoyed that game. It definitely raised my excitement to play some of the other Zelda games, which I have been doing, so that's a lot of fun. Um, we have, let's see, starting at the top here, we have... Lost Odyssey, which I haven't played yet, and going in alphabetical order from there, we have Alan Wake, Assassin's Creed 1 and 2, Batman Arkham Asylum, Bayonetta, you know, as we progress down here, we get, you know, Death Smiles, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, the limited edition, Fate of Two Worlds, which of course Capcom has already announced, Ultimate Mar Marvel vs. Capcom, and then I'm sure next year you'll get Extreme Marvel vs. Capcom, and then Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Arcade Edition, you know, the same thing they're doing with Street Fighter 4. Just milking us, the consumers, you know, stripping us away of our dollars, but of course, we'll continue to buy their games. The sad reality of the gaming world. Alright, so then we have the Orange Box, Perfect Dark Zero, Prince of Persia, it was the most recent release, um, next to Sands of Time. Um, cell shaded graphics, really cool, I really enjoyed it. Brought me back to um, playing Sands of Time. Definitely reminiscent of that. Resident Evil 5, the Rainbow Six Vegas games, which I really, really enjoy those. Great third-person shooters to play with your friends. Over here we have my console setup. Right now I have my PlayStation 2 setup playing some Tekken Tag Tournament. My PlayStation 1 was playing some Final Fantasy 9 earlier um, this month. And then my Xbox 360 with my Death Smile. And then I, of course, course, forgot to show you guys my PS1 titles here next to my Xbox 360 games. Of course... You gotta have Spyro. Spyro is just fantastic. Really great game by Insomniac. Final Fantasy IX, Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy Anthology, Final Fantasy VIII, Spider Man, Tekken 2, Tekken. You know, just a lot of really great games on the PlayStation. You can't go wrong. Of course, the graphics don't hold up very well today, but uh, some of them do, like Final Fantasy IX, for example. Still holds up very well today and actually looks excellent. But um, PlayStation 1 is one of my favorite consoles as well. I grew up playing that, enjoyed playing a lot of the games on that console. In this drawer, we just have some of my TV seasons and DVDs, such as Family Guy, The Simpsons, Lost, some of my music um, concerts on DVD, like Bon Jovi, ACDC, U2, and Nirvana, The Best of Colbert, Shrek, Gotta Love Shrek, Angels and Demons, The Underworld, Star Wars, the original trilogy, X-Men collection, James Bond, which has Goldeneye on it, which is an excellent James Bond movie. One of my personal favorites. Alright, so those are some of my movies and TV and collections. And here we have my CDs. As you can see, we have their Nirvana collector's box set, Nirvana's album Bleach, a Led Zeppelin compilation that has a bunch of their greatest hits on it, a Metallica Live CD... ACDC, I have every ACDC CD ever released. We have many others down there, like Bon Jovi, other Metallica CDs, OAR, Incubus, you name it. A lot of the alternative and classic rock I listen to, so... Got all the, all the good stuff in there. Alright guys, so that's the end of my room tour. I know it's long, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a nice update, I think. Since last year's uh, room tour, you know, I didn't have a lot of stuff in my collection at that point. But now I do. But like I said, guys, for those of you that are interested in collecting at all, don't just collect for the sake of, oh, Rusty collects games. You know, maybe I should just collect NES games just to have them. Don't do that. Just collect games that you enjoy playing 
And uh, that's what makes the hobby so fun. And then getting to know people here in the gaming community, it's just such a fun time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for more videos on the way. Thanks for watching, everyone, and you guys have a nice day.